we're about to start the show, and you know the drill. If you've been here before and you have something important to share, please add a capital letter Q to your comment. And if you are watching live for the first time, please let us know by writing the word new, and we'll give you a nice little welcome. Enjoy the broadcast. Good morning and welcome back to Coffee and Headlines, our morning get-together live here on Facebook where we look for fun, interesting, inspiring, nurturing, or otherwise amusing news from our city, state, and country. We bring them to you and we take a look at what you're up to, your questions, your ideas, your suggestions, your itches. I presently have an itch on my nose, but that's okay. It's getting warmer. It is Tuesday, Tuesday, April 16, and it's a great day. I am absolutely happy, and I will explain why I'm so happy in a little while. But first, how is everybody doing out there? Are you feeling the increased heat here in Puerto Vallarta? It's getting schwitzy by the day, but you know what? We know that is the way it is, and what are we going to do about it? Well, we're going to make the best of it. Today, as always, I have a couple of news items, not truly important stuff, just FYI kind of stuff. But hey, I ran into an amazing adventure this morning that you and I can take. Well, whoever wants to take it can take. And I'll tell you about that in a second. But first, let us see who's here. Ooh, a bunch of you are here. That makes me very happy. Um... And well, I'll get, I'll get to your comments in a second. But I see somebody that I hadn't seen before or maybe I hadn't noticed. Hello, Maria from Bucerias. Bucerias seemed pretty busy during Semana Santa. Lots of extra vendors and food stalls in El Centro and many beachgoers. You know, I haven't been to Bucerias in quite some time. So I'm glad to learn that things were prosperous there. We actually do have Semana Santa related information so what a great segue that is we might as well go to the news and of course i'm sure that local authorities would have loved to announce that puerto vallarta was the busiest vacation destination in the country during semana santa but guess what we came in on second place you know it's not so bad according to information provided by the federal tourism ministry the top place this year went to cancun and the third place went to Los Cabos. Still, to be the second most popular vacation destination in the country, it's not something that shouldn't be bragged about. Of course, Puerto Vallarta did get a top place, and this is probably not the most desirable one. The Federal Consumer Protection Bureau reported that filling your car gas tank is more expensive did that sound right car gas tank that's what i try to say filling your tank is more expensive in puerto vallarta than anywhere else in the country not bad for the city that has the highest rents in all of latin america not bad at all and we're supposed to be the friendliest city in the world anyhow the number came from a pemex station along Avenida Mexico, where you pay 26 pesos and 39 centavos per liter of regular gas. In contrast, the lowest price for the same type of gas is in the state of Veracruz, where it costs 21 pesos and 50 centavos per liter, or five pesos less. And when it comes to premium gas, Guadalajara has the most expensive in the country, What's going on, my friends? Our city is so expensive now, and I know that it's hurting everybody's economy. Or I hear a lot of people commenting about this. Is this affecting your lifestyle? Please let us know how increasing prices around the city are affecting your way of life here in our city in your comments. And uh, I missed this one yesterday. We hadn't seen one of these in a while. If you live in the hotel zone, and you had no water yesterday morning, there was an explanation. Seapal cut the service 
to install some new pipes. We had not seen one of these notices in quite some time. So hopefully there's not going to be many more of those. And hopefully CEPAL is done doing what they set out to do. Uh, of course, I'll be more vigilant in the future. If I see any um, water shortages announced, I'll bring them to you before the water shortage and not after it happens. Let us take a look at the weather forecast for this morning to see what is going on out there. I know that we're going through a heat wave in Mexico City and Guadalajara yesterday reported some very, very high temperatures. Locally, it's not so bad, thank goodness. Um, it is 25 degrees right now. Humidity is relatively low at 56%, so it's pretty manageable. And our weather forecast for today says we're going to enjoy mostly clear skies, but a few clouds may be wandering around. Our high for today will be 27, and our low will be 19. Tomorrow, we can expect clear skies through the day with a high of 27 and a low of 17. And then on Thursday, mostly clear skies throughout the day with a high of 27 and a low of 16. Now, I want to show you something that I saw this morning on, uh, I think it was Facebook. I saw a photograph that just made me laugh. Let me set this up. This made me laugh. It is an Aztec blender. That is what the sign says. So it is a state-of-the-art Aztec blender. Of course, we're talking about the trusty Molcajete. I'm sure you've seen them. A lot of people buy them for ornamental purposes. Um, and some people want to take them on the plane back home. But they're very, very heavy. And of course, others actually use them as tools in the kitchen. Perhaps the appeal comes from a handful of local restaurants that actually prepare Mexican salsa or guacamole at your table using a molcajete. But there is more to simply buying one. I don't know if you know a lot about molcajetes, but the molcajete and the tejolote are stone tools, the traditional Mexican version of the mortar and pestle. They were used by pre-Hispanic cultures, including the Aztec and the Maya, and their use goes back several thousand years. They're carved out of a single block of basalt, a type of lava rock whose rough, that has a rough surface that is perfect for grinding. As such, they're used to crush and grind spices as well as to prepare salsas and guacamole. But there's more to a guacamole than simply purchasing one and putting it to good use. A new molcajete needs to be broken in because small grains of rock can be loosened from the surface when it is first used, and that uh, adds some grittiness to your dishes. Um, the easiest way to season a molcajete is to grind uncooked rice with it. And when the rice flour has no visible grains of basalt, which is, of course, darker in color, it is good to go. And furthermore, Molcajetes are known to season, much like an iron skillet, carrying over flavors from one preparation to another. So that's a little bit of information about the trusty Molcajete. Um, or you can always use them for decorative purposes, of course. But in case you want to buy one for yourself, your own Aztec style blender. Just know that you cannot just put it to good use. It needs to be primed just like an iron skillet needs to be primed as well. And why am I so happy and cheery? Well, because my mind just gets dizzy from time to time. For the longest time, well, from the weekend on, I've been under this mindset that my Libertango presentation is this Thursday. So I was like, stressing out a little bit, thinking, oh my gosh, I have so much work to do between now and Thursday. And yesterday, I was looking at it, and I'm like, no, Paco, you are such a dunce. This is not happening until a week from this Thursday. So I am absolutely thrilled, and I was so happy about this yesterday. I felt like a big uh, weight was lifted off my shoulders. So what did I do? I went grocery shopping because I needed to buy some chingaderas for the house. 
But in the process of grocery shopping, well, first of all, I chose to go to Walmart, Walmart in um, in uh, Macro Plaza, Walmart in Macro Plaza, because I needed to get some other chingaderas from another shop over there. And don't you know it? I got uh, first of all, I walked there and back, which is good for my health. But when I got there, um, I found out that Soriana has come to Puerto Vallarta. And this is absolutely awesome. Soriana is one of my go-to department store, clothing department stores in larger cities throughout Mexico, where I always find comfortable and affordable clothes. And I got to Macro Plaza yesterday and I was so thrilled to see that a wonderful two-story shop has opened in town. Um, so I got giddy, you know, I mean, um, Okay, I'm going to say it. I'm sure that you ladies, you know, when it gets hot and it gets sweaty, I'm sure that like, well, I can imagine that breasts must get sweaty and you're looking for comfortable bras to keep your your tatas happy. Well, the same thing happens to us with our Midlands. So <laughs> before Costco, the only place where I could find comfortable underwear was Soriana. But of course, we didn't have Soriana in Puerto Vallarta, but now we do. So next time you find yourselves <clears throat> looking for comfortable clothes for any part of your body, oh, wow. pay no attention to me. Just know that Soriana is a new option. It is certainly more affordable than Liverpool, and you may want to just check it out. And this morning I was preparing the news and I found out this awesome bit of great news. San Sebastián del Oeste is having a coffee and raicilla festival on Saturday, May 4th. And I found out about this because there's a local bus tour company that is announcing a single day bus trip from Puerto Vallarta to San Sebastián del Oeste. It leaves that morning at 9 a.m. from the Pitillal Plaza and it returns the same afternoon. The round trip bus does not include any food or anything. It does have a stop along the way, but it is only 390 pesos per person. I cannot think of a less expensive way to get to San Sebastián del Oeste and back on the same day and enjoy the opportunity to shop for some of the local coffee and some of the local raicilla at this fair. Uh, so if you've never been to San Sebastián del Oeste and you don't have a car, this may be the way to do it. You know, I don't know what I have going on on that Saturday, but for 390 pesos per person to be taken there and returned, it sounds like a great deal if you ask me. And last but not least, I want to remind you that we are going to feature the spotlight again tomorrow afternoon. If you know of anybody that is having an event or maybe a bus trip or an anything that has a specific date that we may want to participate in, tomorrow is the next edition of the spotlight. A great opportunity for event organizers to come online and talk about their events so that we can learn about it. It is free. All you have to do is have a good connection to the internet and the ability to go online as you probably already do using WhatsApp video or FaceTime video. And that's what I have to share with you today. Let me see what you are up to uh, on this beautiful day. Oh, and I'm going to the movies. Yay! To see a bad movie. Well, I'm Assuming it's not going to be really great. It's the King Kong and um, and Godzilla movie. And I, I found out why the other movie has not been in the theaters. Um, the one that won the Academy. The, the, the Japanese latest Godzilla movie won the Academy Award for special effects. But apparently there is an honor system in the Go uh, Godzilla franchise. That if there is one Godzilla movie out Others have to wait for their turn. So the one Godzilla movie that everybody should want to see is the Japanese one. But we won't see that one on theaters until this one runs its course. FYI. 
Uh, so what are you guys up to today? I read all kinds of good mornings and then I read a good afternoon from David. How are things in the Boston metro area? And uh, let's see. Purim pam pam. We read the comment from Bucerias from Maria. Thank you very much. Um, oh, thank you, Liz. I'm glad you enjoyed the Cuyutlan. Uh, interview. You know, I want to go back. I want to go back. I really, really do. Um, it's so weird to get excited about a beach destination, but it, it was so mellow and so devoid of everything that makes a beach experience in Puerto Vallarta wonderful for some and not so wonderful for others. Um, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, let's see what else. Purum pum. Boom. That's the attitude, Brandy. Yes, I've noticed the temperature is increasing. It is what it is. It's still paradise. You know, remember, this is the greatest time of the year to go swimming up the Rio Cuale before it gets uh, muddy and, and, and brown. But I just love the weather. I have to change the things that I am going to crochet, but that's okay. Um, Lynn says, unfortunately, it got too expensive for us, so we've gone to Mazatlan. You know, I'm so sorry to hear that, Lynn. I'm glad that you're still in touch with what goes on here in Puerto Vallarta. It is what it is. I don't know what to say about that. Let's see. Deborah says, yes, I am a foodie, but find I can't afford to go out to restaurants much anymore. Between rising prices and the exchange rate, prices are close to 50% more than I used to pay. Fortunately, I own my home, so I don't have to deal with the rents. Well, I'm going to tell you something, Deborah. I totally hear where you're coming from. I get invited to top-notch restaurants, and I just choose not to go. In fact, I prefer to go looking for more affordable restaurants, and there are plenty of amazing places here in Puerto Vallarta. And of course, because that's more of the mindset here in Coffee and at Coffee and Headlines, know that we will continue to feature great um, eateries that offer excellent value as much as we can. For example, today, after the movies, great tacos in Versailles, way to go. Frank says, heading to, ooh, how fun, heading to Guadalajara tomorrow morning for my husband's birthday. He will also be performing at the Templo Expiatorio, but the biggest news is that we will be taking a relocation tour. Wishes luck. Best of luck with that, Frank. Best of luck with a performance. And, um, you know, I love Guadalajara. That's no secret to anyone. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. We're always here. Uh, let's see what else we have. Thank you so much for the info about Soriana. It's an awesome store. Great 100% cotton underwear. <laughs> but that's just me. Um, they have great t-shirts that are not expensive. Just like casual clothes that I've, that I've gotten to love. And, and, and again, it's nice that I don't have to go to Guadalajara for that anymore. Brandy says, thank you for the Molcajete information. Again, you will be very disappointed if you just whip out your Molcajete and start making salsas with it before priming it. Uh, see, Luisa gets me. 100% cotton helps so much for my summer Tata girls. <laughs> I love it. Well, my summer Tata boys feel exactly the same way, if I may say so myself. Oh gosh, did I say Soriana? My bad. My bad. Um, somebody said Soriana. Well, you know what I'm talking about. Soriana, we love. We love Soriana, but we're talking about Suburbia. Suburbia, Suburbia. Let's see what else we have. So behind on my movie, still have to see Barbie. You know, Luisa, Barbie is a must. And uh, Logan just nailed it. Logan goes, girl. And Logan is right. It is a must watch. Absolutely funny. And then we have 
don't let those expensive restaurants stop you from going out. Street vendors have excellent food and very affordable. You know, Chris, I have to totally agree with you. Um, there are great opportunities uh, to give back to the community by going to eateries and eating in affordable places. There will always be a clientele for the upper uh, notch restaurants, hopefully. Um, it's not going to be me. And, and yes, Chris nailed it. Don't let those expensive restaurants stop you from going out. Um, I haven't had my coffee. I haven't had my coffee. Soriana, Suburbia. You say Suburbia. I say Soriana. Looking forward to going to Suburbia. Absolutely. I look forward to going back. I was so um, busy with my errands that I actually didn't stop to look at many clothes. Actually, I didn't have to because I seem to be doing okay with, you know, my regular clothes. But maybe in my next grocery uh, run, I will stop by and check it out. And this is what we have for today. Uh, thank God I don't have a presentation this week. I have a few extra days to get it together. And that is what we have to offer. I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a good day today. I hope you'll get all kinds of wonderful things done. And um, I hope to see you again soon with more coffee, more headlines, and more adventures to share this afternoon. Again, I'm taking a quick breather and going to the movies and then for some tacos. But I will see you again tomorrow morning. Have a great day.